Here we go. Identifying your topic and growing your presentation. You should have your professional presentation planner printed or pulled up. We'll use it throughout this module. So what are you going to present? Start with the list and brainstorm. Flip over to the back of your planner or grab a notebook or scrap paper. Write it all down and edit later. What do you like to teach? What has been your favorite project throughout the year? What are your strengths? Which lessons have your artists enjoyed the most? Which ideas do you want other artists to learn and benefit from? What secrets do you want to keep and which ones do you want to share? Is there a problem you want to solve that other teachers may have too? Brainstorm a big list of ideas that come to mind. No idea is too small. Go ahead and pause the video to get your ideas down. And then I'll see you right back when we begin narrowing down your focus. Hopefully you took a few minutes to jot down any and all ideas that came to mind. Now let's narrow it down to a few workable topics. First, consider which conference you are presenting for. Do you want your session to go with the event's theme or goals? Is this topic relevant to your audience? For example, I won't present a math and art lesson at a language arts conference. Maybe you need to modify your elementary lesson presentations for primary or adapt your high school lessons for teachers of newcomers and ELL students. Then think about things like timeliness or relevance. Maybe there's an educational buzzword that you can speak of right now or a trend that you know everyone wants to know more about. Next, narrow down your list of ideas. You want to make sure you present a topic you are confident with and have experience in. People are there to learn from you and are counting on your expertise. Show examples of your student work. There are some presentations that have such great ideas, but no student examples. I'm the kind of person that wants to see these groundbreaking ideas already in use. Let your students work show the success of your ideas. Another thing to consider is access to materials. Does your lesson require items not easily accessible by many teachers? If it does, present alternatives or differentiation of the idea. Most importantly, make sure you have a passion for what you're presenting. Make it fun and make it your own. Once you've identified a couple of front runners, you're ready to start growing your ideas. You might choose one topic to work through this time, while in the future you might decide to outline a few topics at once to be able to apply for multiple conferences or presentations. Go ahead and flip your resources pages over or pull them up to get started. By completing each of the boxes, you'll have thought through the details of the presentation ideas. Think about setting your objectives by answering a few questions. What are your main ideas and key talking points? How long your session needs to be? What kind of presentation will you have, virtual, in-person, or hands-on, or a lecture? Who is your audience? When you work your way down, you might want to skip around, and there might be a section you can't complete until you have more information, such as the amount of time you'll have available or what technology might be there for you to use. But go ahead and rough out what you can at the top half of the first page. Coming up, we'll focus on your audience and ways to best plan for a range of attendees.